Hey yo everyone, uh, this is the Happy Anime Cafe Manager here with another continuation walkthrough episode for, uh, for the game Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. I'm still on the for first uh, day from uh, Rise of the Ashes, just doing investigation. Anyway, let's see the events on full full. You know, I'm kind of feel, but uh, feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pack on lunch. I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burning to my eyes, you might think. Yes, that all sort of did secret. Secret? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? I'm referring to the murder, the stabbing of that detective. What? A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. You mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, cough up, Queen. Tell us what happened. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Or before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Y y yes ma'am. Yikes, she means it. The tape. Somehow, I knew. Yesterday was the day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know the, that's the daily special on Friday every week at Salmon. Destiny? was yesterday special for some reason. You're a defense attorney, right? You should know then. You should know the foul misdeeds of evil one of the evil one to haunt this den of iniquity. The evil one? Prosecutor, they have no qualms of uh, at all about blackening the names of innocents. And yesterday they paid homage to the most evil of one of all. They gave a, an award for King of Prosecutors. What a farce. So she's saying, there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um, evil? Young myth. Mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cop of queen. Ew! The most heinous of all the evil ones, the one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. Really? Really what? I'm totally confused. One thing's clear, this lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. What you witnessed. So what exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle to be sure. I uh, now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lawrence guy wield that knife so. Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You, you mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to, to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. In the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? Hmm. Of course, it's quite a feat. Becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunch boxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She... Oh, he's traveled light. Now, why would this free lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Angel. Um, 
Could we ask you about ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? N no. Only true connoisseurs can understand. The kind you can only tell someone who has tried General Zoe's Trilobite bite lunch set. Ah, uh, never mind. You win. I don't even want to appreciate part of a tribal bite's flavor. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. You, your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass wall booth? I sell my lunches and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So, to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not! Prosecutor's office. Did you have a bad experience with a prosecutor, Miss Star? I sent some hostility. Hostility? Ha! Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten day old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That's a, a sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking, cop up queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. I'm gonna move along because I don't have, there's nothing left for me to investigate. And I don't have anything, I think I could get out of that prosecutor, out of that uh, lunch lady. February 22, High Prosecutor's Room uh, Office, Room 1202. kind of room that screams, I could do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Thanks. Look, look! There's a trophy or a, something here. A trophy? What, that shield? It takes real, real nerve to display stuff like this. Whoever's office this is, he must be a real stuck-up jerk. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice! Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! M -m Mr. Edgeworth! You know him from somewhere? Uh, of course! I'm his biggest fan! My sister introduced us one day. Right. Her sister was the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you. I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. N no did I? No! It was just Mr. Wright here. He hey! Don't blame me! We're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder. A body was found in his nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm. That would be my car. What of it? What? You, 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 your car? I'll say one thing. She can, uh, she certainly can scream. The case. So the body was found in your car. 
Go ahead and say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all the trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, wait, no, she didn't do that. I mean, wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister then? Y yes, sir, Emma Sky. It, uh, it's nice to meet you again. Now that didn't sound forced at all. Uh, now I remember. You really grown. I'll admit it, it was a surprise to me too, to think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still, now I'm forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Well, wait, what did you say? Lawrence Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't be pro prosec- she can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth? To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth. It's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Forging evidence, arranging false testimony, illegal searches, you name it. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in Thanks to you, my innocence was established in a trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy. <sighs> some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life, impossible to stop. But, some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? They got, there's gotta be a story behind that one. Wanna sign? Chief Prosecutor Sky, yes? We first were working together on the case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago, I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. M mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person, but I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. What? What? Mr. Edwards, your knife was a murder weapon? To be specific, it was the knife kept in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. Edgeworth Knight. Type weapons. Retreat from the par underground parking lot. Um, Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? Come on, he can't take a joke. You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. Such a comfy sofa. Sofas like this make me want to curl, curl up and take a nap. I bet he pours over his case while here until we, the wee hours of the morning. Then he takes off his jacket and roll, rolls up his sleeves and goes to sleep using his arms as a pillow. I don't believe it. She's a actually daydreaming about Edward's work. I bet in the morning he has sofa hair and a little creases in his cheek from the seat. He's so cool. Sofa hair is cool? I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. A prosecutor. Huh? What's that? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. King of Prosecutors? It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So, so that K, that K stands for King? Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design this thing. 
king of prosecutors? Kind of like employee of the month, only better. Prosecutor trophy, type of the retreat from the high prosecutor's office. Wow, this jacket is even lacier than his usual one. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket, right? I've never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why he's in the frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. Hey, a chessboard! I'm not too up on my chess, but it looks like blue's in a bit of a tight spot. The red knights have surrounded the blue pawn. Huh? Those horses and our mountain knights, their swords have really sharp edges. And check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges surrounding a pawn with spiky hair. No. It's nothing. Whoa! These are all case files! They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with pipes. He must have uh, someone go get them for him. Hmm. Strange, why did I just picture de Detective Gumshoe? He must study these case reports so closely. He's so cool. You want to say that if, he, if you saw him playing bullets up on that ladder. work this. It's quite tidy as one might expect. What a nice desk. That's easy to use and easy on the ice. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take that name black as a souvenir. Don't. He'll sue you. Whoa! Whoa, you! It must be a nice to have an office on the 12th floor. I guess you would feel important. Incidentally, were you to jump out, out this window and the time until impact with, with the ground would be... Got it! Approximately 3.23 seconds. That's handy to know. My, my, my. What an amazing bouquet. Just right for Mr. Edward. No kidding. Hey, there's a card on it. Back from the dead, Wendy. Wendy. I've heard that name somewhere before. And besides, a giant... Beside it, a giant steel samurai. Why? I want one. Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between a rock and a hard place. Wendy. Wendy. Is she Mr. Edward's fiancée? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, that that was well. Wendy old bad bag that Phoenix just imagined. Um, I don't think so. Ooh, cute! What a pretty tea set. I go for more of the instant tea bags myself. Amazing, the drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend. What an exquisitely splendid concoction. There's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. So in other words, you were the best of the best this year, huh? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? I lost the day of war work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why that? I had to go to the police department ceremony to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, correct? Where Detective Gumshoe works? Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? 
I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award for better or for worse. Yesterday was very was a very busy day for the pro prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday. The day of the crime. Could you tell me more about yesterday? The day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of old cases in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an a annual review and re awards for outstanding police and officers and prosecutors. And that's when you've got the shield. I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edwards pride ourselves on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place no faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Edgeworth parking stub added to the court record. Type other received from Miles Edgeworth. This is a parking stub, stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. So the murder happened right after you got back. What? Right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um... Excuse me, but is this Mr. Edgeworth, uh, anywhere on the premises? Was Mr. Edgeworth, uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, at, sir, at the uh, request of, chief, uh, of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Er, Sky, sir? No, sir. The name of that uh, kind, sir? Not in this report, sir. I think I just heard Edgeworth's lid blow. Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but sir! I'm just following orders, sir! They told me to bring this to you! I wasn't aware of your particulars! Give me your name! Uh, yes, yes, sir! M M Meekin, sir! Officer Meekin! Right, Officer Meekin. Take your report and leave. And good luck with that raid next month. But, sir, I, I didn't, didn't know. Poor guy. Looks like he was absent on the day they gave the, out brains and good luck. Right. Y yes, sir. Yeah, he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. L let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was detective. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, uh, thanks. He seemed to have finally calmed down at least. February 22 Police Department Entrance. We're finally here. Why would they put the detective so far away from the prosecutor's office? That took almost 30 minutes by taxi, and traffic wasn't even that bad. This is my first time to the police department, actually. Hold on. What's that? The Blue Badger! Yay! <laughs> Disturbing! Why does it undulate like that? Oh wait, I know! This is a blue- This is the blue badger! 
They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright, you know a lot about the police department. Still, he does seem f familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger! Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh-oh, he noticed me! He sure is running over here fast. <laughs> hey, pal! W w what are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Oh, uh, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey! I'll have you know, I'm a very busy man, pal! The case. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You better not agree to defend a suspect in this case. Well, why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says the summoned uh she said says she summoned a detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well, no. Come on, pal, there's plenty of evidence against her. But but what if the evidence was fake? Hey, pal, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect, Lana Sky's sister. Whoa! The chief prosecutor's little sister? Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically? Yes, sir! Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like fake. Huh? It's just... It's a sensitive issue with us these days. The investigation. So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, well, nothing really. They kicked me out of the criminal... They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean, this time? Then, what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true. We've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being led into criminal affairs right now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down a path. Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? The, ch the chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. Off Officer Marshall? Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. Patrolman, a patrolman in charge of a crime scene. It's unheard of, pal. Give it to Edgeworth, King of Prosecutors at the Police Department on the day of the murder. Hey, that's it! That's the King of Prosecutors award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal! I got an award for diligence myself! Ah, uh, congratulations. I was wondering why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently, he's forgotten. But, I was proud of Mr. Edwards for winning that award. He's even got naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, we've heard about the rumor. Investigator's ID card found at the prosecutor's office crime scene. No, number ID 5842189. Um, Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, this is Detective. This is a Detective's ID card! You can't just keep that, you have to turn it into the police. Whoa! 
Well, thanks for watching. Until next time, to be continued, baby.